Receiving medical care in a foreign country is commonly known as medical tourism, and it's estimated that thousands of U.S. residents travel abroad for care each year. For many patients who have made this choice, there are multiple advantages. Savings on medical expenses, access to medical procedures that are unavailable in their country of residence, shorter waiting period to get an appointment, and last but not least, visiting and discovering a foreign country. And the medical tourism market is constantly expanding. Procedures include everything from cosmetic to life-altering to life-saving. But when looking for the best rates or a beautiful, interesting, exotic location, the key question remains, which healthcare provider is a quality provider that can be trusted? That's why the focus of the New World of Medical Tourism series has been to highlight organizations who play a vital role in the health and well-being of people from all across the globe. One such company is ASMED Surgical Medical Center. ASMED exclusively performs Manual Follicular Unit Extraction, or FUE, hair restoration surgery and has been doing so since 2001. Extractions are performed manually in order to enhance care and precision. The most important thing uh, to get a good regrowth rate, you have to handle the, uh, the grafts uh, in a very well and experienced way without damaging them. And, but the first step is making a perfect plan. According to your patient's expectations, you have to make the best plan because every case is a different case. Uh, with, in some cases, you need maybe 35 uh, grass per square centimeter. In some cases, you need 50, 60 grass per square centimeter. And these are all related with the donor capacity. So to make the best combination of your patients and balance their expectation is the key word in hair restoration. Beyond that, ASMED utilizes the Keybot robot to scan for coverage and the Keep Placer to avoid trauma to the graphs. We developed key, Keybot. We, we are working on this for nearly uh, one and a half year. Uh, but this will be a new step uh, in hair restoration in all around the world. Uh, when we finished, I, I, I presented it the first time in, in Lisbon and Buenos Aires and Avignon uh, and uh, this will be the probably this will be the uh, major uh, improvement in hair restoration in last years so uh, from now on all the surgeries uh, uh, will be done by these type of calculations it allows us to actually capture all the uh, information from the head uh, we have two camera systems running the first one captures the 3d model of the head and the second one actually captures high resolution images and we are using these high resolution images to detect number of follicles and number of hairs in each follicle at the pre-operation stage. ASMED also believes that art in combination with science is an important component when it comes to the hair restoration procedure. ASMED is combining medicine with art. Uh, hair restoration is a uh, artistic procedure, uh, you have to handle every patient one by one in a different way. We are taking care uh, of our patients uh, with every detail, holding solutions, operation plan, how many grass per square centimeter, uh, mathematical calculations, uh, patient expectations. So it's, we are combining all these together and one by one we are trying to make everybody happy and try to balance expectations. And one reason that ASMED is so successful at balancing these expectations? Its staff, long before any member of the surgical team begins assisting with procedures, ASMED believes that proper training is critical to ensure patient success. Hey, restoration is a team job. Uh, you, need, you need a well-educated team. Uh, your surgical assistants are you are sharing the surgery with your surgical assistants. So, uh, to get an enough experience, uh, you need a practice and to educate your staff. This is Keyhead. Uh, this is a model uh, of uh, training. And they are placing minimum 10,000 grafts before placing any graft to any patient. So, after finishing this 10,000 graft exercises, 
Uh, it takes nearly two years. After two years, they started to place graphs on real patients and with starting maximum 50 graphs. Patient safety and comfort have put ASMED at the forefront of the hair restoration stage on a global level. As an anesthesiologist at ASMED, I mainly focused on patient uh, safety and patient comfort. For patient safety, we monitor them with special monitoring system from the beginning till the end of the operation. We can see the vital signs of patient during in this building from everywhere with our phones, with main central monitor and in the operation rooms. Also our surgical condi operation co room conditions are utmost. Uh, our sterilization is perfect. And also the, for the comfort, the pain management is very important because everyone talks about local anesthesia pain. But we don't have pain in fact. We have special vibration equipment, we have special medicines inside the local anesthesia medicines and also we have special pain relief medicines which we give through the IV way. Patients from all across the globe trust Dr. Erdogan to restore their hair and help them regain their confidence and the look that has progressively receded from their life. Having a procedure like this um, you do a lot of research and I didn't think anybody could match the techniques and um, the results were really good so uh, that was my number one concern is, is having a safe place to do this procedure and that's why I chose here. Hair is, is very important to me in my career. I'm, I do a lot of client facing type of work um, so it's important that I have a good appearance uh, for my clients and also it's just for me it gives me uh, more confidence um, both you know in my professional career and my personal life as well. You know I feel like I can get um, a, you know the same if not better results um, at a cheaper price uh, that's uh, you know one factor for me and also the experience the number of procedures that have been done uh, by ASMED has you know was one thing that stood out to me and that's another factor that was important to me. If my patients uh, will choose ASMED clinic and they uh, decided to trust to me, uh, they should know that this, that uh, we will follow all our patients uh, till they will get the maximum satisfactory results and they will never feel alone in this way. We are making this journey together. And while the list of things that put ASMED on our top hair restoration clinics in the world list is a lot longer than we have time for, Here's five key points about their services that we think really separates them apart from all the rest. Number one, value, quality, and price. Number two, precision and artistry. Number three, patient care. Number four, innovative instrumentation and devices. And number five, tried and true techniques. The fact is, those patients who are looking for world-class care in an international historic location and where the critical components of quality, price and experience converge, will surely find it in Istanbul, Turkey at Azmed Surgical Medical Center. 95% uh, of my patients are coming from uh, European countries, United States, Canada, Australia, it's possible to see in ASMET uh, four different patients, one of them from Canada, Brasilia, Australia, and China. So we get used this for many years. So we will continue to take our place, and I believe that health tourism is the feature of ASMET also. Istanbul is a city that wears its cultures and history well, blending them into an exciting city that has much to offer travelers from around the world. Founded during Neolithic times, Istanbul today is a modern city that remains true to its historic heritage through its mosques, basilicas, and ancient bazaars. Standing between the east and the west, 
Turkey's largest city offers an aura of intrigue and charm that will appeal to all visitors. Here's a look at the top tourist attractions in Istanbul. Number 5. Sulaymaniye Mosque Visitors to the Sulaymaniye Mosque say its beauty and peacefulness gives them an inspiring sense of spirituality. Located on the third hill of Istanbul, the mosque was built in 1550 by the Sultan Suleyman the Magnificent. The mosque indeed is magnificent, blending the best of Islamic and Byzantine architecture. The mosque was extensively damaged over the years, including during World War I when a fire broke out while the gardens were used as a weapons depot. Number 4. Grand Bazaar Travelers who love to shop shouldn't miss out on a visit to the Grand Bazaar, with 5,000 shops, making it one of the largest indoor marketplaces in the world. Receiving more than a quarter million visitors a day, the bazaar features such items as jewelry, carpets that may or may not fly, spices, antiques, and hand-painted ceramics. The bazaar dates back to 1461 and today is home to two mosques, four fountains, two hammams, and the jewelry market, where the rarest and most valuable items have been found traditionally. Number 3. Topkapi Palace Topkapi Palace is one of the must-see attractions in Istanbul that combines history and stunning scenery in an experience that is not to be rushed. The palace, which dates back to the 15th century, is situated on a hill overlooking the Sea of Marmara, the Bosphorus, and the Golden Horn. At one time, it was an official royal residence of the Ottoman Empire Sultans and seat of Turkish government, but is now a museum. Visitors can get a glimpse of the harem's quarters, where the government work, the palace kitchens with a huge porcelain collection, and the treasury, with its collection of jewels and clocks. Number 2. Blue Mosque The Blue Mosque, built in the early 17th century, remains an active house of worship today. This means visitors need to time their visits carefully, as the mosque is closed to sightseers during the five daily prayer times for Muslims. All visitors must remove their shoes, and women must cover their hair. This is a small price to pay for seeing its priceless treasures that include 20,000 ceramic tiles in various tulip designs and 200 stained glass windows, all with intricate designs. The mosque, built by Sultan Ahmed, takes its name from the blue tiles on the dome and the upper levels of the interior. Number 1. Hagia Sophia 
The Hagia Sophia was once a house of worship that served several religions well over the centuries. It started out as a Greek Eastern Orthodox Basilica that was home to the Patriarch of Constantinople when it was built in 537. For almost six decades in the 12th century, it was a Roman Catholic Church. It became a mosque in 1453, remaining that way until 1935 when it reopened as a museum. At one time, it was the largest cathedral in the world and served as the inspiration for other mosques, including the Blue Mosque. It is most famous for its mosaics depicting various religious scenes. 